morning I'm gonna present you the Zony Vio P which is the latest what people will call netbook but Sony reviews to do so but they're gonna say a lifestyle notebook it's Vio P uh, which is a very good small size pocketable it's literally fit into your uh, back pocket on the jeans or on your jackets kind of things uh, it's very light. Um, the version that I have right now here is actually the Japanese version, uh, which is have a much uh, higher processor for the top of the line. It's come with the, the Atom Z uh, 1.8 gigahertz rather than the 1.33 that's come with the United States. And um, of course, with the Japanese units, what you don't have is the built-in uh, Verizon card which is that's what's nice about the United States version of it for you that using in the uh, United States you can tap into a very reliable Verizon Stata services 3.5G um, but other than that you got pretty much the same uh, units than the United States you got um, you can pre-configure with a fully US keyboard not the Japanese keyboard um, and you get the same functionality in terms of the Bluetooth the camera on it, uh, everything is converted nicely into U, uh, into US operating system in Vista Home Premium. Um, the one that I have right now here actually come with the extended battery. So if you can see, the battery is actually a little bit thicker than the regular one uh, from the side there, but it's still very light with the extended battery so I really recommend that for people that are going to travel a lot because the standard is only up to three hours um, this one will give you at least about four to four and a half hours kind of usage um, <clears throat> as far as the unit goes um, it comes with the two USB port that one there and then here and also it's come with what we call it uh, it's the um, I don't know, it's it's like port replicator port kind of things. It's come with the dongle. Um, you can purchase with the dongle. It's an optional in, Jap in Japan. Uh, on the United States version, it's actually, it's, it's come with it, I believe. Um, but in Japan, you have to buy it separately. Um, also, it comes with two uh, memory stick and, uh, I mean, two um, memory card, which is memory stick and SD card. There's the wireless on and off on that site. Um, let's see what else. The power button on the site like that. And let me open up again the keyboard. Um, the only thing new with the keyboard is now they have what we call uh, this two button one. One is to turn on the instant on. I'm not sure about this one. But you got the joystick on the center for the mouse. Some of you probably hate it. Some of you will love it, like I am. I'm used to use the uh, IBM ThinkPad. That way, I'm not really to complain about using that. But it's also in. Uh, I think on my blog, I said it's inherited the same issue where what we usually call it the uh, touchpad drifting issue kind of things so the kind of the cursor drifting across the screen and uh, you have to kind of wait until it stops so that same issue is still here with the unit um, when I try on the Sony Star Store at least um, so uh, without any further ado I'm gonna start turning on I will start with the instant on version of it uh, rather than go straight to the Vista Alright, so I'm going to turn on the unit with the instant on. Uh, to do that, uh, pretty much you have to tap in into that button here. And it will turn on, the power will light on, and that will go into the what we call the instant on mode. Uh, which is, uh, it's a uh, software comes with it, it's by Coral. Um, as you can see, it ve load very fast, it's a Linux base, and the user interface resembles what you see on the um, PlayStation, I mean PSP, PlayStation Portable. 
um, there's a couple of buttons there to power off Windows Start um, there's network setting there I'm going to zoom in a little bit here network setting team setting daytime setting um, and then there's browse through the pictures basically if I can go through the sample pictures here turn on browse the picture on my my picture folder as you can see as, as soon as I hit it it's actually load a program in the Linux and and then you can see it's loading the picture um, and then there's let me go back one screen go back again one screen okay now I can go to uh, music there's a couple of sample music there I'm just gonna just to play some of this Windows Media Audio as you can see it's just load a player you can play that it's so very okay I'm gonna go back try a couple more song here it's pretty decent. It's good to have a volume control on and off. Stuff that you can do very quickly. So I'm go back again to my main menu here. Go to video. I think there's a couple of sample video here that I can play. The typical Windows sample video. So it's play really well. Um, if it's an under WMV on the full screen. And it's the performance is a little bit better on the 1.86 gigahertz compared to the 1.3, but I still found a little bit issue with the YouTube video. I'm going to show you pretty soon. So setting up the internet is pretty easy. Basically, you go to network setting, and you can see there's the internet connection setting. So all you will go through is selecting the Wi-Fi, uh, uh, and then it will it will start working. So I already set mine here. I'm just going straight to the browser, which is it's going to be uh, actually it's come with three software. Come with the web browser. It's come with the Skype, and it's also come with the instant message, instant messenger. So unfortunately, there's no multitasking, so you have to do only one at a time. So um, I'm just going to do web browser now. As you can see, it's loading a version of Firefox there. Um, and it looks pretty fast. It's do the same full screen like you. So I'm going to type in YouTube here. Zoom in to say that you can see the video well. So I'm going to try to find uh, H high. I mean, the, let me try two things. First, let me try just regular uh, video. So it's pretty smooth in the windows like that. I mean, run pretty smooth. Even on the full screen, it's not that bad. So for the non-high, not for not non-HD video streaming, it's actually running pretty well on a 1.866. You still feel a little bit jagged here and there, but it's pretty smooth overall.